Want to see the J-Flight 29RKS? Come on! Butler RV in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, where they sell Jayco exclusively. So anything you want to know about Jayco, you can come here and ask these guys because that's all they do. So of course we're here because we always want to know more. <laughs> and today we are going to take you on a tour of the J Flight 29 RKS. Very nice trailer, can't wait to tell you all about it, but of course all the housekeeping currency converter, timestamps, research resource, and of course, if you feel that we're providing you with any value, you could do one of two things. You could buy us a coffee. Thanks, Preben, we really appreciate it. And of course, you can subscribe. We're always happy when we have new subscribers with us. So if you haven't already, click that little button. Uh, and of course, at the end, I will put a link to the actual construction information on the Jayco J-Flight. So without further ado, let's take a look at the exterior and then I'll take you into the inside. Come on. All right, so on the 29 RKS, it's tall, right? They seem to be, we're finding the Jaycos to be quite tall trailers, which is okay. Uh, because they do add a few extra things when they're doing construction, which probably is the reason they're taller. You do get a nice high, or at least it seems high to me, right, right about here, <laughs> uh, rock guard. So I really like that. You get two 30 pound propane tanks and electric jack. So that's pretty cool. Nice light here up at the front. Coming around to this side, just gonna take a quick moment. Um, this particular J flight has the smooth walled fiberglass sides. Uh, you can also get them in the aluminum uh, siding pieces and go look at that construction video because I explained the differences there and that the actual construction of the inside behind this wall is still the same. So that's an important detail for you to notice. Now, coming in here, this is your pass through storage and you can see a lot of the construction this way. It is lit. It has a little extra sort of piece there that you can fit some stuff in, but I could also see that being a little tougher to get stuff out of. So just a thought for you. Uh, moving down, you do get uh, four electric stabilizer jacks on this unit. They do have a uh, fully enclosed underbelly, and I'll tell you more about that in construction as well. And then, uh, here is your black tank flush, outdoor shower, city water connection, and down here is your sewer connection with your black pull, and here is a gray pull, and I'm going to show you when I go down a little further, there's another gray pull. The significant thing about this is one sewer connection, even though you've got two gray pulls, two gray tanks, you only have to change this once and then you pull two different valves. It's okay, I love that idea. The hard part is the changing out of the ooey gooey hose, not the pulling of the valves. You can go and pull another valve, you're just fine. So uh, you do get one um, electric rack and pinion uh, slide on this unit and it's a pretty big slide. It's got the bulb and the flap and if we look way up, it does not have toppers but I bet you could put toppers on there it does have a rain rail and it does have spouts okay coming this way this particular one has a uh, slider windows which I'm good with and then over here going down here this is where that second gray pull is no problem you don't even really have to crawl under there so I do love that okay here is your 30 amp cord your cable and satellite hookup coming around. You have your spare tire back here, which you know I think is very nice and easy. It's got a good cover on it. You do get a backup camera, and I believe the hookup of everything is an option, but I will look into that for you. This is something else I noticed. So this is to put your grill on, and 
I got to look at that too. I'm assuming it also is an upgraded option, but I got to look and see. But it's kind of nice to be able to put your grill back here and it's on like a folding arm so you can pull it out and stuff. You do also get a uh, hitch back here and I will look into that and see what size of hitch that is, but it's going to be for like a bike rack or something like that. Okay, coming around. What else? Okay, you get a fairly large uh, electric awning. The LED lights are already blaring and showing me that they have them and I don't. <laughs> More uh, satellite filling your tank. Electricity. Let's talk tires. So Jayco's super excited about their tires because these are Goodyear tires and they feel that Goodyear is a superior brand and they're trying to provide superior quality for their trailers. You do get aluminum rims. These are the Goodyear Endurance ST22575R15. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Look at this grand window. I can't wait to see that from the inside. Uh, let's just go look up at the front at the rest of the pass through. Oh, here's the grill. So that's kind of nice. So you can see all the way through. There's quite a bit of space there. And right here is the controls for those uh, stabilizer jacks. And let's take a look at the steps and the door. So we know that I like these kinds of steps. They're very stable. They are the more ride step above. I do like that there's a handle here. I can reach this in the door. So even if these are up, I would still be able to open the door and pull them out. The next question is uh, how much space do you have when you're parked somewhere to pull them out? Okay. This is not a friction door. It does have a bumper and it does have a clip. So you can just do that and clip it. You do get a nice screen door. So I like that as well as there's a frosted uh, window in the door. So you don't, you're gonna get light through there but you don't need to actually pull it down or have a cover, which you know I love because I'm always complaining about having to come out on the steps and pull down the blind when it's in the window. So, Anybody want to come inside and see what it looks like? Let's go. Welcome to the 2021 J-Flight 29 RKS. It's nice. It's a bit of a different floor plan than we're used to, so I'm happy to show you that. Uh, we get starting here in the entertainment area. Yes, I know it's a bit dark wood, but there is some cool stuff in here to contrast that, so I'm going to show you that. Um, but this is nice, right? So your TV is going to go here. You've got storage up here with a little bit of glass. Coming down, a little more storage, electrical cable, your sound system. Coming down to the wonderful uh, fireplace. Of course, that's going to be electric, right? This is the slide. And you guys are going to like this. The decor here is gray in color. And it's a little more, I almost want to say velory, but not really. Um, but like it's not, I'm hot today and I'm not sticking to this. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> so it's quite comfortable. And this of course makes down into a bed. Uh, you get great windows, they're sliders. These are single pane. I just want to say, as I was opening the windows to get some ventilation in here, um, these are really easy to open. They, I liked the mechanism on them, so they were good. Uh, you get some storage up here, again, smaller. Uh, notice the height of this slide, because I know that's important to some of you. But you get some storage back there, two of them. They're on struts. Got to love that, right? And then over to this part, things start to change up a little bit. First of all, let's all ooh and ah over this massive window. So many things I love about this window. The fact that it's so massive and huge. The fact that when we open it, it's great airflow. Uh, you do get lighting there. These chairs uh, are probably going to need to be repositioned. Um, let's take a look at the blind. So it's a nice, good blind. 
and it's dark so hopefully for those of you that you know that's really important to it'll help what I did also notice the light switches are up there I know, right? I don't know why they put them up there. Why not put them in the wall down here so when you walk in, you can turn on the light. That's kind of a bummer. Um, this is the fireplace. Here is your command center. And notice, notice the light cabinetry. It's in this sort of distressed, creamy white that's much more popular these days. And I do like that. There's your storage. So it's not that deep. Let me just move over here. It's not that deep, but it has big openings. You can fit lots of stuff in there and you just gotta simply love that cabinetry. And then they have these chairs that are still all wrapped up in plastic. So it is a recliner, but what it's going to lack is massage and heat and those kinds of things. You've heard us say it a million times, pros and cons, give and take. I would choose these over theater seats. Reasons why, um, yes, I would like the massage and the heat, but I find the theater seats just too bulky and they take up too much space. So as far as a recliner goes, this would do the trick. I could see the TV just fine. Um, it's, this is the same decor uh, as that couch. And I can move these around. I can turn this to be more conversational. I can move this one over there and get more uh, flow through that window. I love that. They're in this position right now because they are tied down for transport because of course you want to keep this type of furniture in place. There is electricity behind that chair. Uh, just, the, just the one. Let's move on to the dinette area first of all. So this is in the rest of the slide. I'm really liking the fixtures. They add a little something special, but they're not too blingy and easy to keep clean and that kind of thing. So this one has the freestanding table, nice chairs. Um, Jayco brags about its foam, but they are very nice chairs. They're comfortable to sit in. And for those of you, we just did that poll on our uh, community tab on YouTube. So make sure you're going there and taking part in those polls because they're just fun. And I love hearing what you guys all think. Uh, but we did a poll about whether people preferred freestanding over dinette. Um, and then get on <laughs> our newsletter list because that's where we share all of the results from that. And also we put it on Instagram so we can compare what YouTubers think versus Instagrammers. People preferred dinettes. I'm surprised. Uh, but I think it comes down to a lot of freestanding tables can be cramped and they don't provide as much storage. So there's that. And I get that. I personally really like this particular setup. There's lots of room on both ends. The window's beautiful. Just going to move Corey's phone here. See what's under here. How this, does it pull out? No, it does not. So it doesn't have an extension, just so you know. Jacob also puts these little decorative things over the back of the chair. I think it's just to protect the wood and transport and that kind of thing. So I like that. Then you're coming around to the RK. It's a rear kitchen. So first of all, things you know I love. This is just beautiful. It just brightens up the whole space and I love it. So you get a pantry, which has got a lot of shelving, which is not uh, adjustable and there is no light in there. So this has Penelope written on it because <laughs> Penelope doesn't have a light and it's not adjustable, although Penelope doesn't have this much either. So I would just advise you to like put a light in there or of some sort because when it's dark you want to be able to get into this. Then coming over to the fridge, this is a Norcold and I'm going to say eight cubic foot yeah okay that's the answer uh that freezer anybody know what's up there <laughs> let me know if there's some meat that needs to come out <laughs> because i can't tell <laughs> that's just a bit too high for us and i mean again is that a deal breaker absolutely not we have a stool for just about everything else we would use it for the freezer as well but i do like that your fuse panel is down here uh here's your microwave 
she's tiny, but she works. It is a bit high, um, but we've also seen higher, so that's okay. Uh, your range hood, you get a three burner Furion gas cooktop, very nice level. I do like that. And you get a teensy weensy little <laughs> oven, but it's an oven, right? So there's something to that. And below the oven is a huge cabinet. Like that's a big space. I also want to point out behind the stove is a different uh, wall covering. Although it seems almost like a wallpaperish type covering, which although nice, I don't know that it's any better for cleaning and things and it's not on this wall. I would, I think I'd rather see a different type of backsplash on there. Check this out. Look at it all. Look at it all. This is beautiful countertop space. These are the thermal foil, no seams. You've got electric, you've got lighting. This is a Moen uh, tap with a sprayer. Very nice. You have a it almost feels like an acrylic or some type of, it's not a, a stainless product. White, separate, uh, like divided sink, under mount. It's very nice. I do have questions when the divided part only goes part way, because um, I, I guess it really just limits how much you can fill the sink, right? But it's a very nice sink. And you get a window and you get more storage here as well as here. Now, again, this is going to be a bugger for me to actually get stuff into and out of because it goes way back into the corner. Not giving it up, but we'd have to figure something out to be able to reach things. And then check this out. That's huge. And again, the, this upper cabinet is the same situation for us, but it's also storage we're not giving up. More electrical here, and this huge countertop space. I love that. And so here's a bunch more. Now, I'm noticing that because of the plumbing, they've kind of uh, broke it up a bit. So there's storage back in this corner. I just can't get at it, <laughs> just because it's tucked back in there. So I'm just saying, you'd have to get back there, but it's completely doable. This is a great place for your garbage can. And then this one goes all the way back there, like all the way to the edge of the countertop, but there's another door on the other end. So that's going to work out just fine. And then over here, nice, huh? Four big drawers on the roller glides. Very nice. All four of them are the same. Yep. While I'm down here, I just want to point out that the heat ducting is in the floor. This is the Congolium vinyl flooring and oh, carpet. <laughs> now the slide is very low. There's not a big bump in here, but they're using carpet. So I don't love carpet but it's not unusual to see it. It is under the dinette, which is another place I don't love carpet because that's a natural spill spot. But, you know, it says that it's uh, good, manages stains and spills. I guess you can clean those. So that is the floor. Then moving up, you get this little skylight thing in here and it does have a pleated blind so that you can close it if you can reach it. <laughs> I can't and I don't think I would want it closed anyways. I like the light that comes through there, but I do feel sun heat coming through there too. So just so you know, the ceilings are quite high in here. I think they're about 81 inches. You get quite a bit of LED lighting. You get speakers, you get an AC, you get AC ducting. So that's all nice. Um, and then coming around to this side of the kitchen counter, there's more electrical. And then in here, in this cabinet, is the other side where you could reach. So remember I told you you could reach it from by the sink or you could reach it from here. So even though it's a really deep cabinet, it's still really easy to access. Now, let's go take a look at the bathroom. 
into the bathroom. I like that the uh, towel rack and the toilet paper are here, so they're really not in the way. Over here is the continuation of the nice white creamy cabinetry and lots of storage. And then down to the bottom there, you see the heat ducting in the floor. And over to this side, there is a switch for the lighting, but no switch for the vent fan. You have to get up there and push that one. So this is a broom situation for us because that's the only way we would get that button pushed. Now on to the toilet. You get a porcelain foot flush toilet with lots of arm room and things. So most people should be okay with that. And then into the shower, you get the uh, frosted glass radius door. So we all know Corey likes that. And then it is a uh, two piece plastic surround. So one piece goes around and one piece is the base. And there is some caulking. It's not all the way, but there is some caulking there. So that's good. Um, you're getting a nice uh, shower head and standard taps. There is a little skylight up there too. And again, lots of headroom, right? Over to the vanity. Um, so this is a similar material to what's out there, except for it has a front piece and a seam in it. So that's different. Not sure why they did that. Pretty large plastic sink, average tap, electricity, towel rack. I love that. Uh, this is a good height of the mirror and there's good lighting above it with storage in it. So that's all good. And then moving down, uh, pretty decent storage there too, right? Like you can fit things easily around the plumbing and then there's the lower uh, one as well. Then coming into the master bedroom here, you get one of my favorite things, which is a slider door. I like that there's two doors in here uh, from the hall or the bathroom. So that's nice. Uh, pretty decent sized windows, dark blinds. This is a nice mirror but a really small hanging closet. I would like to see more hanging space. There's also a nightstand here, which has electrical in it. I believe this is a queen Serta mattress and nice bedding, I do like it. And you do get storage up above with lighting, so that's great, but it seems kind of extra high. And so it makes the openings lower. I'd like to see this come down a little more. Uh, they're nice and deep. These are on struts, so I like that. They're just normally a kneeling on the bed is enough, but I'd have to stand on this bed to do it. Then coming around to the other side, because you can walk around the bed, there's another window and blind and mirror and another closet. Oh, it's not a closet. This is all uh, drawers that are not, are not drawers, sorry, shelves that are not adjustable. So that kind of bugs me more. That means that small space over there really is the only hanging closet. Good nightstand and there is USB 12 volt and electricity there. So that's good. But let's see what's under this bed if I lift it up. Ooh, comes up good on struts. Ah, this is good, right? Okay, remember when we were looking through the pass-through storage and I said there's that little cove in there that might be hard to reach things from? You can just get it from here. This is perfect. And then you get these two kind of open areas. So if you're using a soft bin with just the top open, you could access it this way. If you wanted to put shelving or something in there, you could do it this way. If you wanted bins that you slid in and out, that would be good. Like it's really very uh, versatile. I like this space and it's on stretch. So holy, I don't know about this. Okay, I think you're gonna have to help me, Corey. I can't put this down. We're gonna pause there. <laughs> we're gonna keep it rolling. Can you? Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay. Super hard to put that down, but let me on. <laughs> Let's talk about the Cracker Barrel Factor. Perfect in here. 
no slide at all. You can walk around the bed, you can access the bathroom. But now let's go talk about the Cracker Barrel out here where there's the slide. Cracker Barrel Factor here in the main living area where the big slide is, quite a deep slide. When it comes in, this part of the slide is going to come out to about here, right? So you got sort of that piece there. So coming in the door, you could probably squeak by this chair and then it opens up again, right? And then you'll get over here where this part comes in and it's going to be about here. So you can probably manage to squeak by there and then your fridge could open about that much so I could fit my arm in there and get stuff in and out. So the Cracker Barrel Factor is not that bad. With this full slide in, you can get in the door, you can get into the bathroom, you can get into the bedroom, you can squeeze by and have access to the couch and the dining area. You could squeeze by, have access to your sink, your stove, and somewhat into your fridge. You won't be able to get the top drawer because it's up against the table. The rest of them you'd be able to get. So that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Now, let's talk about the numbers. Now for the numbers on the 2021 J Flight 29 RKS. Pretty nice trailer, went out and took a picture of everything. There is a GVW of 7,511 pounds with a cargo carrying capacity of 1,789 if it's completely dry. Once you fill up the uh, water, the fresh water, which accounts for 713 pounds. So basically with the water tank full, you got a little over a thousand pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Then um, a few other numbers. It was indeed an eight cubic foot fridge, uh, the 81 inch ceiling inside. There was a 40 inch TV, um, a 13,500 BTU uh, AC, and the exterior length is 33 feet 11 inches the width is eight feet um, the exterior height with the ac 11 foot two inches um, and the awning length was 18 feet the fresh water came in at 80 gallons the uh, gray was at 39 gallons and the secondary gray at also at 39 gallons and then the black tank was at 39 gallons. Furnace was at 30,000 BTUs and then the all important number here at Butler RV in Kamloops, the sale price comes in at $51,688. Remember those are Canadian dollars and the currency converter is in the description so you can click on that and figure it out for wherever you are. This is a really great trailer and if you're looking at getting one of these, uh, let us know in the comments. We want to hear how things are going for you and what you love about it. Uh, and then of course, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget if you haven't already and give us a like, click one of these links at the end to come along on an adventure with us and see the all important construction video. We love having you along. Hope you've liked this video. And if we've provided you with any value whatsoever, you can hit the link in the description buy us a coffee or a cocktail or something like that that we could share along with you. Thanks for watching.